we're in late October now and um, that's probably it now for the main growing season. You can see some um, runner bean flowers still on their beans but it's too cold for them to amount to anything much but there are some runner beans that still need harvesting so it's just a case of what we can salvage from the plants at this stage This particular wigwam didn't produce a great deal of runner beans earlier on but it produced a flush of flowers just a couple of weeks ago and they're of uh, ideal size for picking now so I'll get on with that. As I say anything that we can get a hold of now is just a bonus. So, I'm going to take what nature offers at this time of the year. And I think I might have mentioned earlier on in the year, but this particular variety, which will uh, give you a good crop right up until the frost, is Scarlet Emperor. Scarlet Emperor is my go-to runner bean. I always recommend it to anyone who asks what type of runner bean I grow. Scarlet Emperor. And as we approach the tail end of autumn, I need to get the polytunnel ready now for what I want to plant in here in spring. Uh, this area has been turned over in the last week and I'm going to give it another dig over and a job that needs to be done in the present now is um, to clear up this area of tomato plants. You can clearly see there are some green tomatoes left, but with the temperatures now moving nearer towards four or five degrees Celsius at night, um, it's not worth risking frost hitting these plants so I'm going to clear it but it's amazing how much you'll find that when you do clear your plants you actually get quite a substantial harvest obviously these will need either um, trying to be ripened or uh, probably just use them as green tomatoes so I'll get a hold of what I can from these plants now I've just cleared those tomato plants and you can see that um, there are some other seedlings that have started to come through some tomato seeds now I wonder if these are from tomatoes that had fallen off the plant and just burst and um, seeded themselves and interestingly I'm just looking at this area I think this might be Digitalis Foxglove so I'm going to dig these up and grow them on and see if they end up being what I think they are there's quite a few plantlets of what I think is Foxglove so that's a bonus um, but there are some coriander seeds that have then germinated and formed into pretty decent sized coriander plants. But as you can see, there's a lot of weeds here and this area will now need to be turned over. So we'll crack on with that. So I've dug up those plantlets that I think are digitalis or foxglove and I put them in a, a, a small tub and I'll um, give it a drink and put it to the side and see if these plants um, develop into anything and if I've got plants that form into uh, foxglove that 
flour, then this is exactly why um, you want to grow things on. Um, sometimes you just get plants as a bonus. So keep an eye on these plantlets and see if they do develop into uh, mature fox clubs. Um, as I say, uh, I'm quite convinced that they are fox clubs, but uh, time will tell. I think this is the last courgette that's left to harvest on the allotment. Oh, there's a little one next to it. Well, that's actually viable. So there's nothing wrong with that. And this one here, I'll give it a twist. So that was the last of the courgettes on the allotment this year in late October. So when I said that it's often surprising how much you get from when you're just clearing um, plants that are past their best. This is what I meant. There's quite a lot of uh, green tomatoes. They're obviously not anywhere near right, but we can uh, add these to dishes with ripe red tomatoes and um, use them in a, a dish called tenga, which is a tomato-based dish in Bengali. So um, that's not too bad. And I got there before the frost did, so that's always a bonus and in doing so managed to find two courgettes that were hanging on and needed harvesting so pretty pleased with that so late in the year and I nearly forgot I said I was going to um, harvest the last of the Scarlet Emperor runner beans so that's not a bad bunch at all. Anything at this time of the year is a bonus. And we'll just add that to the harvest bag. So we've got some uh, very late season green tomatoes, um, a couple of courgettes and late in the season runner beans. As I said, anything at this time of the year um, is a bonus. And the thing to do is, um, if you're in any doubt as to whether or not frost might uh, hit your crops, then I would say don't take the chance. I've lost quite a lot of um, produce over the years where I've um, not been so um, keen to harvest, thinking that uh, the weather will stay mild for a bit longer. So... As soon as we get into October, start harvesting whatever's there. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and um, more importantly, I hope you've been inspired by it and maybe think about growing some of your own next year.